High school. It's full of friends, sports, a lot of homework, and good times. Probably fooling around in class with my friends. I really liked pep rally. But these moments became a thing of the past when the COVID-19 pandemic hit and Braintree High School closed its doors. It got old and it got tiring. And most days like getting out of bed was probably like an accomplishment for the day or like getting in the shower or like having the motivation to do something productive was like an accomplishment rather than just like a daily routine. Without the essentials, teachers, homework, classroom conversations, and jammed staircases, the mental health of Kaylee and Allie began to decline. Definitely would say my mental health and like my motivation has decreased school-wise and like getting up, like getting up in the morning to go to school, even though it's only half days, it is a challenge for me sometimes. This year it definitely skyrocketed and it has to do with the pandemic, it has to do with school and COVID. One essential worker, Megan Thomas, a guidance counselor at Braintree High, saw the disturbing impacts that the pandemic had on students. I've seen increases of what we, in the guidance counseling world, say suicidal ideations, where students don't see that hope. And we've had, unfortunately, a number of um, hospitalizations, partial programs, um, treatment programs for a variety of things. I found myself not wanting to get out of bed. I always stayed in bed. I always I didn't do my homework. Um, I like didn't even have enough energy to necessarily even watch Netflix. Like that was even too much for me. I have some students who you would never think have anything going on and they would you know, maybe a male student that would never talk to his mom and then his mom's all of a sudden calling me saying he can't get up out of bed. He seems super depressed. Fortunately, Braintree High reopened for a hybrid learning this fall, giving these struggling students a chance to see friends, classmates, and teachers in person. Interacting with other people is so important and it's so crucial. Essential staff of Braintree High School, such as Spanish teachers Mr. and Mrs. Jameson, share the same sentiment. And we started making silly videos in Spanish for our students. You know, okay, it's listening comprehension, but at the same time, even to make you smile. Just, you know, forget about a little bit of, of the stress around you. Going to school in person became essential to keep these students' mental health in check. I wasn't in school every day. Like, school gave me a reason to, like, wake up in the morning. Those tasks that feel like chores now, it feel like a burden instead of a chore to wake up. It's like, I don't have any motivation left. They're getting up, they're walking to class, even though it may be something as simple as that, it's just the normalcy that they're seeking. And students begin to realize that the work of a school is essential work. And me personally, I'm one of those people who cannot be home just because like when I'm home, you're alone, you're like consumed with your thoughts and stuff. But now with school open, it's probably much more beneficial for more students. We care about our students. So like that it, I love teaching them Spanish, but I care about them as people, as even more. It's much more important to me. And so a part of our job is to, you know, I mean, to care for them. I admire all my teachers because I can't imagine having to deal with this. Like as a student, I have six classes to deal with and they have a hundred students. So I kind of sympathize with them and how much they're trying. Honestly, I just would trust whatever the teachers say because the teachers at the end of the day are the ones who are like risking their lives to come in teaching a bunch of different students. Students at Braintree High are expressing a fundamental need. They want to be with their friends, classmates, and teachers face to face, which for some of them is the reason to keep waking up in the morning. And that's what school is to these students, essential.